Well, you may be asking me, Chris, what's so special about this full moon? We get a lot of these a year. Well, number one, as the title said, it's going to be a blue moon. The moon's not going to turn blue. You may want to run for the hills if that happens. But anyway, just a fancy way of saying the second full moon in the month, the first one occurred in the first and the second. This one occurring the 30 and the 31st. It's been the last one for almost three years. May 31st, 2026 will be the next one. And the other thing is what we call a supermoon. Now, when the moon orbits around the Earth, it's actually an elliptical pattern. It's not a circle. So sometimes during the year, it's about 5 to 10% closer to the Earth than it is at other times. And with this supermoon, it's going to be the closest of all the moons, so it's going to appear really, really bright and really, really large in the sky. When you put these two things together, what we call the so-called super blue moon, next time we're going to see this is now for about 13 and a half years. So January 2037 will be the next one. Now, how do you view this? Now, you can obviously spot the moon in the sky, but when it comes up and when it goes down, it'll rise Shortly after sunset, it sunsets just before 8 this time of year, so around 8, 10 p.m. is where it'll appear to the uh, east-southeast of the sky. Go across the sky, and it'll set right around 7 o'clock, so basically when we start getting a good amount of light over the western horizon. And there is a bonus with this as well, is that the planet Saturn will be very, very close to that. Now, if you see an object trailing the moon all night, and it's not twinkling, that's a planet, and that's Saturn, the sixth planet from our sun, and the one with the rings. So if you have a chance, get out there. Enjoy one of nature's wonders.